Literally every one of those long days. You love the Bulldogs, don't you? I was born on the 25th of the 954, the last time the Bulldogs won their premiership. I've been a lifelong Bulldog supporter. So there's a, a, a lot of Bulldog stuff in this house, do I? There is a lot of Bulldog stuff in this house, and I'll show you one of them that is still here. Oh, are you a man in the toilet? Yes, look at the loo. Yes, he's been there for a long time. He's captive. Yes. There's literally not a moment where you're not thinking about the Bulldogs. As well as being born on the day of the Bulldogs' last premiership win, Dawn Cadman has lived in Footscray, the home of the Bulldogs, for 30 years. It's changed over the years. Um, it's become fairly, very unsafe sometimes here in Footscray. Um, a lot of ice addicts and a lot of young people that have really got not much to do in their life and it's really sad. A lot of people say to me, why do you live in Footscray? And I just say, well, I love Footscray, my home's here, and I love the Western Bulldogs. Um, that's what keeps me here. Footscray, 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 Footscray. We'll always remember you, you're right and forth. Footscray, 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 Footscray. This working class inner city suburb has always been a hub for migrants. If you come to Footscray, you've got to have Vietnamese or Chinese. Lately, asylum seekers and others from Africa, the Middle East and South Asia have flocked here. It's been fertile fan recruiting ground for the Bulldogs, the only team in Melbourne's sprawling western suburbs. I'm from Idea and I'm watching Bulldogs before I go to Doggy! Sabah Aguid and her family arrived as refugees from Iraq 10 years ago. Through working in Footscray, she got introduced to the Bulldogs and was soon hooked. When I came from Iraq, we didn't have, um, we don't have footy, we've got only soccer. And um, I'm into it because it's like, it makes me feel the sense of belonging and the sense of community and how like you can engage and inter interact with other Aussie um, fellow supporters. Does it make you feel more Aussie? Yes, it does. <laughs> The Bulldogs appeal to the new Australians of the West is very deliberate. The club runs a program to help migrants and refugees integrate into their new home through sport and other classes. Since 2007, the settlement program alone has had 15,000 refugees nearly arrived right come through. It's a way that we find we've able to give back to the community, embrace the newly arrived, all the new Westerners into the community of the West, and it's a fantastic way to actually get them to settle into their new home country. When the almighty Victorian Football League announced the financially crippled Footscray Club was to merge with Fitzroy, the Bulldog fans smelt death. The trials of the Bulldogs are legendary and legion. The most famous, a near merger with Fitzroy, fought off in the courts by grassroots fans in 1989. Sudden, for one magical year, it's all come together. Martin Flanagan says, aside from the recent dynamic form under coach Luke Beveridge, part of the Bulldogs' appeal is that they've always stayed true to their roots. 
The comparisons are odious, but I think Collingwood lost something when they left Collingwood. Those people are still here, and it's such a dynamic part of Melbourne. They're very attractive to the new migrants coming in. They're, they're attractive. They've still got the old working class thing, and now you know, they've played such bright, attractive footy that they're attractive to young people. So all of a sudden, they're, they're the new club of the, of the part of Melbourne that the new Australia is coming out of. That's exciting. Oh, mate, they're exciting. Oh, cool. Happy birthday to you. Hooray! Yep. Hooray! And as Dawn Cadman celebrates her 62nd birthday and that moment when her team last held the Premiership Cup aloft, she's desperately trying to get her hands on a seat at the MCG. Regardless of if she does, she's confident it will be a very happy birthday this year. They think that we're underdogs, like the West Coast thought we're underdogs like Hawthorne thought they could run over them, but guess what? The Swans are not going to run over us. We're going to get up and we're going to fight like the Bulldogs that we are. It's a city for Will Grandmo, and that is the prize that awaits. Madeline Morris reporting from Melbourne. And